Hello, hello, this is Roberto and this is the HVAC is my channel. Today we're going to be talking about Writesoft heat load calculations, floor library creation. All right. All right. So let's get into it. To begin with, as usual, I want to make sure that we have our uh, toolbox right here. And also I'm going to make sure about the grid settings. Okay. So we go to the grid settings. We have 666 there. There we go. Okay. Perfect. So now every single video i'm going to start including a new trick so before i used to just go to the room and i used to draw a room like this see like for example a room that is 11 by 9 or 8 or 11 by 8 there we go so i used to create a room like that and i used to do this which we're going to call bedroom, okay? Bedroom. There we go. So creating a room is very easy. And also, you are able to move the name of the room. So you click on the room, you hold shift, and you hover over the tag. And you click and you can drag it anywhere it's it, this trick is going to be very very helpful especially when we're doing duck work okay so that's the trick for today okay so how to move this uh, actually not like that there we go there we go all right so now let's go back to the video what we're, what we're teaching in this case what we're check what we're uh, showing so when you do a bedroom of course you have to put the four components number uh, where are the four components is when you right click on the room right click on this bedroom and you have the property sheet those four components are room wall ceiling floor we're going to make sure, since we did in the other videos the properties of the room, then I'm going to go here very quickly. So rooms, bedroom, included, yes, air. It's going to be air to air, not hydronic. There we go. And then order, doesn't matter, height 9, internal loads. We're going to put in here one occupant, that's all. And then the duck loss looks hit factor imagine that this bedroom is below the attic so we're going to put vented attic vented attic so in other words the duct is in the attic all right so we have already the walls the wall is going to be exposed so i go here i look for my exposed right here i have exposed the one that i created <clears throat> so it's right here exposed exposed 2 by 4 r15 you can call it anything then i'm gonna go to the ceiling and then in the ceiling i type here i click here and in the ceiling i remember we created ceiling r38 we're all good so far so good but in the floor we don't we didn't create the floor so it says none in the constructions for project one so how do you know which library are you gonna go for so you go directly it says constructions so therefore you have to go to the library of construction so in here you have window you have library you click on library of course it's constructions all right so now you're gonna put in under new and then in this case what we're selecting is the following we're selecting floors so for the floors you're going to be able to select number one you need the name first of all what is the new type the new type is floor and then the name let's put this in here floor slab r10 let's say it's r10 r10 there we go insulation r10 but depends depends on the jurisdiction depends on however you want to call it but for me it's better to call it like this because then i'm gonna be i'm going to understand when i'm selecting this floor oh this is one floor and the floor is slab it doesn't have a basement 
So for the basement is different. Okay, we're gonna do other ex examples with basement. So we do okay. And that okay, now you're gonna have other options. You have exterior floor, floor partition, below on grade and layers. So we're gonna go for the below or on grade. So a floor slab is on grade. So that's why we're going to choose on grade. You can do radio buttons, custom layers, custom values, but we're gonna go for radio buttons. So for soil type, we're gonna put heavy damp. And then for H insulation, we're gonna put H on the H. And then we're gonna put for a slab insulation, I want the full perimeter, but the pe full perimeter exterior. But that depends always on the project, but m usually it's the same. It's the same of these settings. It's the most popular, okay? H ducts, none, we don't have that. And then below grade, no, it's on grade. But if you are doing for a basement, then you're gonna have to put the below grade depth, depth six feet or four or however you consider this. If it's a crawl space, it's different, right? So for now, since it's on grade, we put on grade. Now for H insulation, we're gonna put R10. That's why I called it R10. Now, slab insulation, our value, which is the most important part, R10. See, the, the, the schematics or the figure in here is changing, right? So, for, for floor finish, we're going to put none. And you can put a carpet if it's going to be a finished basement. But usually I put in none. But you always have the option to put a carpet, you know. Let's put carpet. How about that? And then you hit OK, copy. No, worst case scenario, you know, you can put it none. So apply. There we go. So now you created this library and it's going to show in here. So when you right click, you put it to the side, ceiling, you have the ceiling, floor, you have the floor. The floor is going to be located under S. See, S lab. No, we said F. See, it's under floor slab R10. And then in here, you can always add your carpet or remove your carpet, whichever you want. We're going to add carpet in here. There we go. And then you have the results for manual J code. So that we're going to go over that later. All right. So now this room is fully defined. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, hit the like button and subscribe. Alright, thanks so much.